All right, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another career run. And I know I said I wasn't going to do one for a little while. I needed a little break, but I was actually excited to, to make a start on this. We're going to be doing a light heavyweight wrestler slash grappler. Um, I was going to initially do like lightweight or featherweight, but for, uh, I had a reasoning behind why I changed it to, uh, to 205. And uh, so it, it's not going to be exclusively... Uh, like strictly grappling, you know, I am going to be throwing some strikes on the feet, you know, to set the takedowns up and stuff like that. And this is going to be a, le a learning experience for me because I don't know how to wrestle in this game. And I know how to like do a single leg and a double leg and that's it. <laughs> like I don't know how to, you know, fucking take the back or double leg bails or any of that stuff. So hopefully I'm going to learn how to do it. This playthrough is either going to go one of two ways. I'm, act I'm actually going to really enjoy this and learn something new, kind of like how I enjoyed my previous career. That was the best one I've done so far. So I'm either actually going to really enjoy this or I'm going to hate it and I'm going to find just doing wrestling really boring and probably going to not finish the career. So hopefully it's, it's not going to be the second one. Hopefully I can I can learn to enjoy it and appreciate the new play style. I think I will. I'll stick at it. Like, But you never know. It might just get boring. You know, a lot of people want to see knockouts and... The stand-up game is the most attractive part I've ever made for me, even though I love the whole the whole thing. You know, I used to do BJJ myself, so I'm no stranger to grappling and submissions and stuff like that, but anyway. So you're looking at Dana White on screen saying box set, but we're not going to do that. We're not picking Dana, and I'm not going to use myself this time. I'm going to be going through the career as MMA Japanese legend Kazushi Sakuraba. Look at that. Those shorts appeared today on the uh, in the stupid online st in the store, you know, with the the clothing refreshes daily, and those shorts came up, and I was like, "Ooh, orange shorts!" First person that comes to mind for me wearing orange shorts uh, is the Gracie Hunter Sakuraba. So this is going to be like a bit of an homage to Sakuraba, and obviously it dovetails nicely with the wrestler slash grappler playthrough. And if you want to get specific about it, Sakuraba was a catch wrestler. Trained by a guy from Wigan in the UK, which is not far from me at all. Uh, Billy Robinson taught Sakuraba the ropes of catch wrestling, which is an in interesting bit of trivia. Right, legendary difficulty as usual. You, should, you all know the score by now, but somebody's bound to ask me in the comments, what difficulty is this on? It, this is on easy. There's actually one way you can tell just by looking at the gameplay what difficulty it's on, and no, it's not the... The hood turned off. There's a, you know, you can just turn that off anyway. But there's a way you can tell by watching the AI that it's on pro or above. But if you if you know the game well enough, you already know the answer to that. So what I'm going to do this time, I'm going to skip the WFA route. Although I really love doing the WFA, but I want to get into the UFC as early as possible to try and start learning techniques, you know, like all the takedowns and uh, unlocking all as many submissions as possible. Um, and just strikes for on the feet as well. I like, I want me striking that. So let's have a look, listen to the American Sakuraba. I gotta do what I gotta do, right? Skip all this bullshit. We've seen this a thousand times. Can I even, can I even get takedowns in this opening segment? I don't know if this is all just stand up or what. And remember, the difficulty doesn't kick in until after your three sort of smoker fights. And I can't. I'm trying to shoot in for the takedown, but I can't. So already I have to do strikes. So once we get this segment out of the way, it's all gonna. Can I? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I can't. Can I clinch him? Can I do it? I definitely can't do takedowns. I'm pressing the takedown button and nothing's out. So we have to. Beat him up on the feet, and also the eagle-eyed among shit will notice. I'm in this. I'm in orthodox, and Sakuraba goes to southpaw. I, ca I can't really use southpaws, and it's not going to matter all that much anyway because most of the fights are going to be taking place, or all of the fights are going to be aiming to get them on the ground. So st stances are not going to be all that important, really. So it's not going to matter what stance I'm in. And this is not going to be like a play like Sakuraba playthrough as well. You know, for the two, you know, for two key reasons, really. There's two moves in this game that are not in this game. Uh, sorry, there's two moves that are not in this game that were in Undisputed 3. The double Mongolian judo chop from inside the, uh, the, uh, from inside the guard, in guard top position. And also cartwheel guard passes, which two moves Sakuraba was 
famous for, and also jump and stomps through the guard, and obviously we can't do any of that shit, because EA can't be bothered making pride animations and rules, so we're stuck with UFC shit. So yeah, a lot of Sakuraba's trademark things are not in this game, although he does have the Kimura from having his back taken in standard position. You can reverse the opponent into a Kimura, which I'm going to be wanting to learn. So yeah, this is not going to be like a one-to-one -one play like Sakuraba playthrough for any diehard Sakuraba fans like, oh, why are you playing him in orthodox? He's southpaw and Sakuraba doesn't throw strikes on the feet. Why? It's not, it's not that. It's just like a bit of a nod to Sakuraba and something more interesting to look at visually than looking at my calf all the time, my calf that I like to use. You've completed the onboard in the past. Uh, would you like to skip the onboard and amateur fights and advance to the contender series? Actually... No, I actually want to... Oh, I'm actually going to do the onboarding. It's a... Uh, I need to get the Contender Series 1. That's the main thing, actually. I want to do all this stuff to get all the points that I need to sort of get a base foundation Ooh, of me character built. There you are, the sensation. Look at Sakuraba here, just swaggering into the training centre. I am going to put some... Uh, restrictions on myself like I did in the last career mode so like I'm not gonna go above a three-star chin and I'm, I might keep me power a little bit down as well because that made for a really fun playthrough last time and I kind of might stick to that for future playthroughs and you know you can sort of you know make this game a bit broken if you start leveling everything up to five stars you know and that's definitely the case for chin and you know, I kind of like it when the fights go into the later right. rounds. There's nothing more boring than just knocking people out in the first round with, like, five-star power. It's, like, it's just boring to me, you know what I mean? That's casual shit. And chase the overhands. So, like I say, restrictions are going to be in place. Chin, mainly, and uh, power on punches and kicks. Let's go. If I do Show level any of them, they're not going to go uh, above three stars for punches and kicks. Good. You know, to the next although Sakuraba was a catch wrestler, he did throw strikes and he actually won a few fights by by knockout or TKO. He knocked out uh, Ken Shamrock at Pride 30 okay. after training kicks. with the Shootbox team, um, who he'd been a rival against for years. You now he was going up against Vanderlei a lot in Pride, three times I think in total. And he eventually went to okay. train with Shootbox for Strike one of his fights. That. And then he went, he stepped in against Ken Shamrock and actually fucking knocked him out. Land strikes without your stamina dropping. So yeah, it's he, he was no stranger to strikes, Sakuraba. He had some good low kicks as well. Did I just fail? Fucking, what happened there? <laughs> Did I just fail a fucking... Oh, stamina... My stamina dropped below thing. Coach Davis is like, this guy's fucking terrible. He's failing already. <laughs> His first day in the gym. Stamina awareness. Jab straight, lethal counter. I mean, I've done these training sessions a thousand times and I still fucking... It's because I'm talking at the same time. I can't fucking talk and do it at the same time. Skip all this bullshit. So what Let's I might do, I'm things. gonna crack on with this Use now, and I'm gonna fast forward break. until we get Don't to our contender series match, because you've seen all this a million times. All right then, so I'll see you when I've got all this shit out the way. All right, so that's the boring little smoker things all done out the way. We've got 318 evolution points, and we've got our fight off for the contender series. So let's see who we get offered. Javier Garcia, Javier Garcia. What's your style? The art of fighting without fighting? Show me some of it. Three and a half stars for our first fucking fight as a wrestler. This is going to go poorly. He's a kickboxer as well, so, you know, I'm going to be getting caught with an uppercut on the way in. <laughs> I've also just realised as well, like, we have to submit him in the first round, otherwise we're going to the WFA. Like, my plan was to go straight into the UFC and try and learn techniques as quickly as possible, but that might be... Up shit. That might go out the window if I don't get this first round uh, win. It, like submission or, or TKO in the first round. Fucking hell. I'm going to be fucking diving for the legs like um, fucking Habib in this one. Bloody hell. All right, let's get this signed. Pretty sure we're going to end up fucking this up. If we, if we go to the WFA, it's no big deal. 
just means we have to wait a bit longer to get some techniques learned. And I don't think you can learn certain things until you get into the top 15 anyway, so... Hey, Kazushi, interacting with you. We've all heard all this bullshit before. All right, how long have I got for the camp? Three weeks. Right, I'm going to get stuck into it, and you know the drill. I'm going to come back when it's over. All right, that's the camp out of the way, and I am not all confident we are going to be getting a first round sub in this fight. I'll be, I'll be surprised if I can actually get this fucker to the ground. God, the AI just gave me a tough time there in training. Just trying to take the opponent down in, in the training sessions was fucking hard enough. Kept denying everything. Right, let's get all this 380 points spent into the things that I'm going to level. Get my character set up. Three star chin, that's going no higher than that. Probably take recovery. We're going to have, have to have decent cardio for this. You know, takedowns and transitioning and it's it saps your stamina pretty quick. Uh, cut resistance can go up. You know me, I like to get full of blood in these playthroughs. You know, the Crimson King will probably uh, make an appearance at some point. You know, old Vampiro. Right, before I go crazy on that side of things, let me just... Um, I want to... Footwork needs to go up. Um, Takedowns, of course. I'm going to go on that in a minute. Blocking. Because my head movement is garbage, so... <laughs> I kind of rely on a lot of the block to get me through shit. Head movement can go up in good time. Kick speed, and I must remember perks before I forget. Let me just at least get one perk in the bank. Grinder uses less stamina when grappling on the feet. That might come in handy. What does one? Can strikes consume less stamina in rounds three, four, and five? Not too important right now because we're not going to be in five round title fights for a long time. Carved award, income and damage is less effective. Recovers more health between rounds. That might be one to go for. Strikes consume less stamina. So where's all these other grappling ones? Boost fighters grapple defense. Du, du, du. Boost the fighters grapple defense in top ground position. Incoming damage is less effective. Comes from stuns and knockdowns more quickly. That might come in handy because I've got a feeling we're going to get clipped a lot going for sh uh, shooting in for stuff. Actions consume less stamina while moving. Hmm, interesting. Um, covers more health between rounds, might be one. We're not allowed to get the, the third perk until we get to the UFC. Use less stamina when grappling on the ground. This might uh, be useful because we're looking to get to the ground as soon as possible, so... The less stamina we can use while we're down there, the better. All right, that's looking good. Uh, oh, didn't want to do that. Let's get the rest of these points spent. Can I go up with footwork anymore? I want to be able to get in and out quite quickly. That's what she said. Kick speed, uh, punch speed. I don't want to be punching slow as shit. And I don't want to be kicking slow as shit. Recovery can't go up, right? I might just focus on speed. Oh, that's all I can do for now. Takedown defenses at, uh, sorry, takedowns are at three stars. Hopefully, that's enough to get down the super AI, which it tends to be in these contender series fights. I've actually lost two of these fights in my careers. I think we're good to go, I think. Let me just check. I can't do anything with eight points. Yeah, I think we're ready to go. All right, let's see. We can get him out of there in the first round. If not, we're going to the WFA. Javier Garcia, 6-1. and one. Let's go. Right, nice and fluid. Good, good. Good snaps. All right. All right, champ, all right. We had a great training camp. Fuck all this bullshit. We've seen it a lot of times. There's not even a good thumbnail opportunity in that cutscene. Alright, I'll do my best, but I can't see me getting him out of there in the first with a sub. I'm going to have to hit him with at least two of them. We're not going to one-tap him with a submission. Oh, I did a turn and takedown, and I don't know how I did it, and the first one is stuffed. Uh, 
I have to remember I am allowed to strike. I shouldn't just like forget all my striking. Super AI, I can tell already. Oh, look at this. Fucking avoiding me sweeps and everything. Yeah, there's no way we're getting this done in the first round. This guy's got fucking Mirko Krokop like fucking takedown defense. I mean, he. Should have went for it then, shouldn't I? Feels so uncomfortable for me already playing this style. I really don't like it. Oh, good job. I interrupted him with that straight there because he was teeing me up for a fucking head kick. Even if I don't finish him in the first round, which I'm not going to, I'd still like to at least win the fight. I don't want to lose to him. Check there. No, look, we're definitely not getting them out of there in the first. Definitely not. That's, the AI is way too difficult. Way too difficult. And I don't know why I didn't fly into the guard there. Every takedown defense, uh, takedown attempt so far has been denied. It's stuff like this I was worried about, you know. I feel like this is what's going to get boring, you know, to watch. Like, just me constantly trying to take down an AI that just likes to fucking deny takedowns. So, this playthrough might not fucking last very long, to be honest with you. I'm already fucking bored shitless trying to get it down. You know, when it's fucking input reading your your strikes, it's one thing. I can deal with that as frustrating as it is, but I should have just let him take me fucking down there. But uh, like I say, when it's just constantly denying your takedowns, like already I'm frustrated with it, and we're not even out of the fucking first round. And I know I've got to level me takedowns up, but you know, three stars, it's out already. Ooh, nice front kick up the middle there. Well, there goes the UFC opportunity. Wasn't realistically thinking I was going to do that, to be honest with you. Get a first round submission against Legendary AI. It's just not going to happen.
ready to fight? Ready. Good. Not one successful takedown yet. Oh, beautiful block counter uppercut there. Checked him. Oh, both exchanging front kicks. Oh, God. Caught me with a right hook there. I get knocked out in this fight, I think. Been fucking hurt badly. Bust his nose there, I think. so slow it's another thing that, like being light heavyweight as well i hate anything above sort of like lightweight i, I really don't like playing as it just see the drop off in speed massively like <laughs> yeah i just interrupted me fucking clinch grab there with a just a little input red jab There was a bit of a, I think he was on a stamina deficit there. You see how terrible my ground game is now. See if we can get an armbar locked up. We've got a minute left to go. Got a denial in, and another one. Oh, I thought I actually denied that. I went the right way. I felt like I did it early enough. And of course, the fucking kickboxer's got amazing fucking wrestling. So he denies me transition.
Oh, nice little trip there. End up in the stack guard. Is that the second round? I've lost count. Here's that beautiful drop that he got me with on that block counter. Look at that. Fucking hell. Fucking input reading. Fucking bullshit cunt AI. <laughs> Fucking sick of it already. I must have, this is way less enjoyable for me playing this style. This so I'm not enjoying this at all so far. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Bit of fatigue setting in for him. See if we can make him whiff again and then. Oh, there's a nice check. Ooh, off exchange and kicks. This front kick put me on my ass. Oh god. Both missing whiffing with hooks there. That lead head kick. I've got to be careful. I have took shots. Oh, beautiful right straight left up combination. That's the way I'm going to get my fucking takedowns. Is my fucking striking. None of this shooting in bullshit. Fuck that. Oh, went for the elbow. Three minutes to work here. Go for the armbar, see if we can get it locked in. Oh, and he fucking gets out of it again. Can be a lot. He's going to step over into the mount. Try that out bar again. Denied him that time. Let's go for it. Might have it. I think he's gonna oh desperate escape there. At least we got one in on him. I guess the wrong way, holding the mount. But I've got, got away with it somehow. Denies me arm bar again. Or oh, this time. And again, I fucking guessed the wrong way, but I still kept it. And that time I guessed right, and it fucking denies me the position. <laughs> Fuck, he recovers the guard. Minutes ago. Denies the armbar. Fucking hell. Can't even get the fucking submission locked in. Let's try the arm triangle. I'm not good at the animations for this.
Oh, fucking, I read it too late. Fuck. Not going to be able to finish it. Oh, and another desperate escape. Well, we go to a decision. If you're, are you all still awake watching this? Any of you fell asleep yet? <laughs> Moment to fucking pinch myself to fucking avoid falling asleep. I'm bored out of my fucking mind. I mean, considering he was a kickboxer, the su fucking submission defence was fucking incredible. His takedown defence was insane. Look at that, he had his hand up and everything. Fucking thought he'd won. Look at that, like, that ovation for, for Sakuraba there. <laughs> fucking nobody applauded him. What a terrible fight. I mean, I hope upgrading the takedowns makes it makes it easier to to get this legendary AI down because this is going to be an unenjoyable playthrough. I've, I've, I've predicted this to myself. I thought I'm going to hate doing this. That's why I don't do wrestling playthroughs. It's just boring to me. Like I don't mind wrestling in the, the actual sport. I love watching a high um, high level IQ wrestling match. You know, I, Makachev and you know Gamrot and Sarukian and Gamrot and. All those guys, they're just excellent scramblers, and I love watching that kind of wrestling, but... The striking's where it's at, you know what I mean? And I know it's MMA, but... Lorenzo Pereira. What's your style? The art of fighting without fighting? Show me some of it. Jiu-Jitsu man. Well, which means he's going to come out throwing four fucking punch combinations, as usual. Let's get it booked. Four-week camp. All right, let's, uh, let's begin our WFA journey. All right, I'm going to get the camp out the way, and then I'll see you back here when it's done. All right, that's the camp done on another horrific training session of trying to get partners down. Look at Lorenzo Pereira's record, 10 and 1. Fucking hell. Getting thrown to the wolves in our first WFA fight. We should be all right, but that record is not filling me with confidence. Right, let's get these points spent. Injured already. Fucking <laughs> second fight, and we're having to source fucking injuries out. Oh, I've gone up to two star punch power. Well, that means I've got to get fucking right. I'm going to keep it at two star then. I thought it was uh, a. <laughs> I thought that was. Why was my power? Um, was that an injury from the previous fight? Footwear can't go up anymore. Um, I need to get head movements up before I increase and switch stance. Never want to get footwear up again. And I'm gonna start having to put stuff into like top game and stuff like that. And where are we? Top game. Might not have enough here. 11. If I'm gonna spend this on anything. Clinch striking. No, I might as well hang on to it. Alright. Let's uh, Let's get to our first fight in the WFA against Lorenzo Pereira. Let's go. with our sort of Down Syndrome version of Kazushi Sakuraba. <laughs> Ready? Ready? Here we go. Right, don't have to worry, there's no pressure of first round nonsense now. After the Contender Series is a failure. This guy's fucking massive, look at him. So expect full on K1 Arsenal from the, from the Jiu Jitsu man, as usual. This game doesn't know how to get archetypes right. Oh, spinning back kick lands and it went for the body. Hit already, that's a terrible start. God, I've got awful animations with all of my fucking punches here. Oh, nice combination there.
just going to strike for a bit. There's no point in going for takedowns. He's just going to fucking deny him. See? Like, somebody in the comments wanted me to do a strictly grappling playthrough only with no striking. Like, I can see where you're coming from, like, for the... You know, just make it a specialised thing, but honestly, I'll end up fucking hanging myself halfway through the playthrough with boredom. Like, to look how unsuccessful, unsuccessful I've been with takedowns in the first two fights, and... God, it's just... Like I said, it's... In a video game, the wrestling is just boring as fuck. It's just... It's just not fun. Oh, nice uppercut there. Ooh, looking for that spin to win. Landed a nice left up to the body there. I don't know how to fly in like that. I thought it was it. Gonna fly into the guard there. Whiff on the head kick there. Oh, nice head movement there from, from the AI. I mean, what, what am I swam? I congratulate it. What else is new? Fucking nice head movements. Fucking does it. <laughs> fucking every strike I throw. It's not like it was fucking guessing. Doesn't help that I've picked light every weight to do this. Everything just feels slow as fuck. Oh, beautiful spinning back fist there as I went for the kick to the liver. You ready? Let's go! Oh, look at him flashing the glove touch and then changing his mind. Like one of our fights without getting a cut. Already looking like shit. I mean, I'm pressing the takedown button, but fucking nothing's happening. Try to trip a bit.
Oh, nice strike straight there as he went in. to the body there. <laughs> Didn't it say this fellow was a jiu-jitsu archetype? <laughs> He's fucking not attempted one fucking takedown. You know, the archetypes can't be trusted in this game at all. I can see me just completely bailing on this playthrough, to be honest with you. I'm fucking bored out of my fucking skull. Right up a cut left up combination there. Another checked low kick, checked a couple of them so far. Pressing the button to take him down, he's just getting out of it. Oh, hard kick to the liver lands. Not one successful takedown yet out of every takedown of thrown. there off the right hook. Stay to my fucking face. Looks like I've been in a fucking car accident. Oh, both exchanging in the pocket there. Fellas, cardio's held up pretty well. Oh, and there's a nice right hook there. Oh, and finally, I get a fucking takedown off the fucking. I think he. Uh, I checked him there. I 
Now we've just got to deplete his fucking submission bar. I think I denied him there. Well, didn't, didn't get him that time. I mean, this is his, this is his world. This is his world is jiu-jitsu, and he just wants to fucking stand up again. I think this is going to be an abandoned playthrough. Oh, there's a beautiful combination there. Actually got a fucking legit fucking takedown. See if we can go go for the armbar. There's a denial. There's another one. I've got to have to fucking deplete this bullshit fucking submission bar. the arm triangle this time find this a bit harder to to read I think he got him oh we got out of it somehow I mean I, I double denied him and he fucking still got out of it Both a fucking bloody mess. Let's try the armbar again. It's gonna get out again. Oh, oh, beautiful transition there. He got out somehow. I still don't understand like some of the ground shit in this game. the guillotine instead but I don't know the animations on that well he got out of it again I don't understand how he's getting out Try the guillotine. I don't know these these positions at all. Oh, he denied it. Fuck. Oh, when he gets out again. Throw another ramble at ten seconds to go. Tap got him just at the end of the fight. Bloody hell. Fucking lost half of me blood like trying to get it done. <laughs> oh, imagine the longevity damage. Like, I'm gonna lose fucking trying to get through this fucking career. Jesus Christ. See, this is another thing I'm not finding very fun. You know, you just gotta like deplete the submission bar rather than just like you know, land you know, well-placed strikes, you know, and I know you can do all that fucking struggle thing, but there's no fucking hood. You can't see his fucking stammer, do you know what I mean? I know you can one-tap people once you, you, you know, you use this submission struggle bullshit, but you can't fucking see his stamina if there's no fucking hood. 
fucking regretting this playthrough already. I've gone from having like my me best playthrough ever with the um the cardio pillow fisted run to already what feels like my fucking worst one. I know I'm all, I know I'm only on the fucking first video, but I'm just I'm not enjoying it at all. Kinda knew this was gonna happen. A win for Sakuraba, how long before it's UFC time? Oh, it's a long way off yet. <laughs> We've gotta have at least fucking like 10 fucking fights in the WFA. Joachim Calvacante. What's your style? The art of fighting without fighting? Show me some of it. Kickboxer. Fucking hell. Time for another three round war. Let's get this camp booked. Three weeks. Then we'll call it a video after this fight. Coach Davis. What's he saying? You should start getting other fighters to train with you. Uh, whatever. Go to fight at invite. I haven't got the money to be doing this at the moment. I've fucking got to pay for injuries when it gives me a fucking bullshit random injury at the end of the camp. Can I go and see anybody? Uh, Misha Sechnov will teach me the triangle and fucking take up most of the training session. Uh, look at that, 70 on the calendar. I don't know. Let's get this camp out the way then. And I'll see you back here when it's over. All right, a bit of mid-camp drama in the second week. Coach Davis says, Joachim Calvacanti has picked up an injury. Has had to pull out of that fight. What do you want to do? Take the late, late, late replacements or fight against the new opponents or, or wait for Calvacanti? I mean, we'll just take the late replacements. We're not pulling out. And we don't even get to see... Oh, let's have a look. We have to agree to the fight first before we can see the opponents, and it's Antonio Diaz. What's your style? The art of fighting without fighting? Show me something. Another kickboxer. Half a stars, which means he's going to be fucking elite tier striking. Six foot fucking six as well. Fucking hell. All right, just thought I'd keep you updated. I'm on the last week of the camp now, so I'll see you when it's over. All right, that's the camp complete for a late replacement. Leonard Ortiz with the piece of shit emoji. What a fucking scumbag. So as you probably saw at the start of the camp there, Coach Davis fucking sweating me to try and, you know, interact with other fighters and shit and learn stuff. So I'm like, all right, I'll go, I'll go and pay Misha Seik and have a visit and, uh, you know, learn the fucking triangle because apparently you learn the triangle off Misha Seik and off or Paul Craig, except Paul Craig can't be accessed until you actually reach the UFC. So we have to go with Misha Sekhanov, and then I'm like, yeah, okay, so the triangle's obviously from the full guard, or you can do it from full mount top, and I'm trying to do it, and I'm not getting the prompt popping up to for the triangle, you know, when you push, like, to the side and, and initiate the triangle. So I'm like, oh, maybe I'm doing something wrong. Anyway, fast forward, a quick Google search revealed a fucking five-month-old Reddit post where people were complaining that the, the Misha Sekhanov triangle training se session was bugged and that was five fucking months ago and it's still not been fucking fixed so you can't learn the fucking triangle off Misha Sekhanov you have to wait till f you get to fucking Paul Craig good job EA a five month old bug in the game and you've fucking not got round to fixing it yet or have you got more fucking important things to be doing I mean that doesn't bode well for the longevity bug does it I mean fucking hell do you think they're gonna rush to fix things in a career mode that they don't give fucking two shits about <laughs> fucking hell these developers need fucking hanging, all of them. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Right, let's, um... What was I going to focus on? I mean, do I have to fucking pump everything into takedowns? It wouldn't do any harm to get them up. How far can I go with it? I've got to get clinch striking up first. Can I go any further with footwork? I would like to move a bit quicker. 16 points, can't, can I do much with this? Top game. Submission offense, maybe. That can go up to three. All right, three points left. All right, here we go then with the late replacement, Antonio Diaz. James Parley, this shouldn't take too long. Sakharaba will get exposed. Fucking hell, look at these fucking mouth breathers coming in now. Eli Laxton, go get it, these WFA, WFA fighters are nothing for you. Right. Antonio Diaz. Fuck the Diaz brothers. 4 3 0. Oh, let's go. It's fucking 6 foot 6. Fucking skyscraper. Antonio Diaz. Half a star elite kickboxer coming in.
to get some strikes leveled up in training just by doing the sparring and shit. Left hook got leveled up. Right straight to the body. Oh, this footwork from Diaz, fucking hell. Oh, nice straight down the middle. Input red straight as I queued up the, the front kick to the body. Oh, hard low kick there. His, his fucking legs made out of spaghetti. He only took fucking one low fucking low kick. Oh, there's a takedown chance. Dumped him. To try and keep him in out. And this is ground games fucking elite. It would be nice to go for the triangle if we were allowed to fucking learn it. Have a couple of fucking hammer fists on that fucking B. Let's get some shots to the body in. believe they did that with elbows on the ground it's just like you know when they were they were getting ready to launch the game and they were like showing like oh you can elbow again everyone remember you wanted to see this back from UFC 3 you can elbow come and buy the game oh by the way you only get one elbow <laughs> you only get one it's like a money in the bank you only get to cash it in once and then you're back to fucking the uh your broken posture position fucking scammers aren't they one fucking elbow. Like, what's their reasoning for that? Apart from that, it could just be elbows could be spammed. I don't know. Put something in to mitigate that, like a stamina tax or something like that. You know what I mean? There's a block transition. See if we can get another one in. I'm gonna try and go for it. Oh, his face is gonna explode. Well, there's one desperate escape already. Take the back. See which way he goes. Try and deny him. I'm just gonna sit here in this. I've gone the wrong way. Fucking hell. Try and get it in again. Just wait for him to do something. I've gone the wrong way. Fuck, he's gonna get out of this. Oh, what, did he fake me there? I don't know what happened. What's going on? I'm gonna go for it again. Oh, there's the tap! Fucking hell. Well, a first round sub, fucking hell. Never thought I'd see the day. Fucking hell. I mean, he was only half a star. Fucking hell. You know what I mean? It was all off that single leg dump as well. There's the tap. Oh, there's the fucking... There it is. The old side choke, the arm triangle, whatever you want to call it. Well, at least that fucking fight's over. <laughs> fucking didn't have to fucking carry on a second longer. UFC fa favouring a certain minority of referees in this game. we got Herb Dean and then now this black guy. What's going on there? Where, where's the diversity of the referees? It's fucking Black Lives Matter WFA edition. And still Volkanovski successfully, successfully defends his belt. All right. Josh Nasiba, I might have a new favorite fighter. I hope it's not me. Adrian Crone and Sakharaba wins, thumbs up. Eli Laxton, there'll be a new contender in no time. He's talking about me, Brett Ned. I'm impressed by Sakharaba. I can't wait for tougher fights. Fucking hell. What are you trying to say? I'm fucking can crushing. Fucking hell. Let's get a fight off a of booked and then we'll call it a video.
you'll have to let me know how you feel about this playthrough. I don't know. Like, I'm not feeling it, I must admit. Like, you'll have to let me know. It's just not entertaining to watch. If it's not entertaining for me to play, it can't be entertaining for you to watch. Like, I bet you there's not many wrestling, grappling playthroughs on YouTube because they're fucking boring as shit. Fernando Martins. What's your style? The art of fighting without fighting? Show me some of it. Another kickboxer. Look at that muzzy as well. Look at that tash. All right, half a star for Fernando. I mean, I can decline him, like. I mean, fuck it. Let's try and get someone. Where's the guy who pulled out of the fight? Are we going to fight him? Ethan Collins, two stars. What's your style? The art of fighting without fighting? Show me some of it. MMA style, two stars, so it's a little bit of a step up in competition. Let's get it booked. Four weeks. All right. Well, there's the first episode anyway. I don't know if I'm going to carry it on. You'll have to let me know. But I'm not feeling it, to be honest with you. But I'm going to leave it there anyway. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Maybe.